All right, hello and welcome. So, let's talk about the new update. New update came out. There's some stuff in here that is worth discussing. Uh, there's some new augments. I'm still working on my big review for all of the augments, and these will be in there as well. But I want to talk about them for right now because there's some important things about them that are worth noting. Uh, and also, we got a dope new armor set. So, let's go over that first uh, because it is very nice. Uh, so, first things first. There we go. Uh, we got this dope new armor set. I think it looks really nice. It is a very nice looking armor set. I have it in the prime colors here, obviously, as I normally do with most things. Uh, and it looks really good. So we're going to go through a couple of these uh, just so you can get a feel for it. Oh, whoop. That's my ex gal. People. There we go. Now random. Yeah, it colors pretty well. Uh, it seems solid overall. Uh, and it's. Not, it's like a weirder design. It's like ornate, I guess is the word I would look for. Uh, or use, rather. And it's nice. The chest piece is really nice and sleek, and it doesn't like stick out super far like most chest pieces in Warframe do. Uh, so that's nice. And overall, I like it. I think it's good. Uh, it colors really well. There's a lot of metallic channels. Uh, and you can get... This is really good. That's a very nice color scheme. You can get some really good stuff going. Uh, so, that's new armor set. I think it looks great awesome on that business uh moving on we've got a few other things to talk about uh the first of which being uh Neja's pyroclastic flow augment so this new augment is pretty all right it's fine uh, it is kind of a gimmick augment for Neja in that it will let you use your one and your one will do damage to enemies like it normally would it'll set them on fire uh, and you build up all the damage you're doing from that and then can unleash it in kind of a line in front of you uh, and that damage can get pretty high uh, so I don't think fire classic flow is like just gonna be inherent to like all all Nezhas will need this it's not really like that it's more of a gimmick build uh, but it's a gimmick that does technically work and i think it was pretty fun based on what i've used of it so far uh, i haven't like super a lot tested any of these uh but pyroclastic seems fine it seems like just like a fun mod that'll be useful for a gimmick build uh and kind of hilarious at low levels uh so that's fine uh second up we have negation swarm negation swarm <coughs> that that mod's ridiculous so from the testing that I've done with that, it you put your irons, your your scarab, sorry, iron skin. It's a lot. It's very iron skin like now. Um, you put your scarab armor on like you would, drain your health, build it up. Every three percent that it's consuming from you gives you five seconds of status immunity, which is important because it means that you can't just be spammed really fast with statuses to get rid of it, and because it takes three percent at a time. So metering that out over the course of your one hundred percent of armor means that you're going to be resisting everything, including knockdowns, for a long, long period of time, which is outstanding. It's like all it's like coming up on three minutes worth. Uh, and it doesn't just it doesn't constantly drain. It's not a timer that's ticking down. It's like a timer that's only ticking down when you're getting statuses on you. So under the circumstances where you're constantly getting status, this is still really good. Like any just, and also, Grenier Magnetic Doors, I, I can't say enough good things about Negation Swarm. It is, it's just in a fucking fantastic augment that has replaced Handspring immediately on my Anaros. I'm planning to throw another form into my Anaros to fit um, Firewalker or Lightning Dash where my Handspring was. It is a fantastic mod. Anyone who is playing Anaros, you should get Negation Swarm. It's amazing and great. Uh, you will absolutely be seeing that in a future builds video for Anaros, provided it stays the way it is, because I think it is vital to any Anaros, because all Anaros should always be having their Scarab armor up anyway. So, given that, let's talk about some things that aren't so great. First of which being Beguiling Lantern. Beguiling Lantern, as we all know, Titania has problems. Lantern is not a good ability. And this one will make it so the enemies that are, are affected by your bad ability, your three, which is clunky and often doesn't do what you want it to do, will take 100% 100, 100 more melee damage. Right? Right? Ah, uh, guys? No? Yes, this, this augment's terrible. It's absolutely abysmal. I can't think of a single scenario where you'd ever want to use this, especially as Titania. 
Uh, this might be... No, even then. Even for teammates, no. Why would you want... Why would you want a Titania to be wasting her time doing that? If you're a Titania, use your four. And don't use your melee that's in your four. That is not a good reason to use the melee that's in your four. You should use your fucking Dexpixia. You should be using the guns if you're gonna be playing a Titania, period, because that's the thing that she can do well. The rest of her kit is super clunky and not great, and, like, her one is just okay. It is an abysmal augment for a terrible ability. Completely worthless. But, potentially worse than that, although, like, not in action, but potentially worse in what it kind of shows is that Piercing Navigator. The Piercing Navigator, each hit that you get on an enemy while you're using Navigator will give you 10% more crit chance, up to a maximum of 50%. This is not additive, it is multiplicative, so you're going to be using this with critical weapons already. Given that, 50% is not a lot. It is absolutely not a lot. Like, that is less than half of point strike, and it's not great. So, given that, what, why did we get this? It's completely useless. No one was using Navigator anyway, like, normally. And this is not a good, but like, hitting five enemies in Navigator, that's a hell of a lot to ask. If that said 500%, and you get 100% every time, maybe we have some kind of maybe argument. But with this, it's totally worthless. And the thing about this is that it's insulting to, like, the people who wanted other things for Avara. Because, let's show what the Design Council voted on for Navigator. This is the vote that the Design Council did for Navigator. You can see what the winning one is. Ivara travels with a projectile appearing at the location where the ability ends. So, obviously, if you were to do that, there are some things that can break. You can shoot your Navigator arrow through a wall and then teleport through a wall and break all kinds of shit. So that not going into the game makes perfect sense to me. They couldn't do it like, holy shit, that is a lot to ask for one augment on one Warframe. I totally, totally see where that would come from. The thing that I don't see where it comes from is Piercing Navigator, because Piercing Navigator, as you can see, ain't fucking on that list. So, we have all these other options that are much simpler than the one that won. For example, reduced energy cost per target hit. That's like pretty simple, and that's better than Piercing Navigator. So I don't really understand why none of these went in. Because all of these would be probably better than Piercing Navigator, unless, like, the Toxin Trail did, like, no damage whatsoever. But, like, projectiles have a chance to disable terminals that require hacking, so you can use your, your two to hack terminals? That would have been fucking cool. That would have been awesome. Like, I don't know. I don't know how we ended up here. I don't know why the Design Council was even given a vote. Like, these options were chosen by DE, and they were like, okay, vote on them, guys. And then we did, and then we end up with that. And I don't understand why, because that augment's bad. Like, that's a bad augment that you shouldn't use. There's no reason to ever use that augment, period. And I just don't get it at all. Can't understand it. I just cannot understand it. But enough about that. Let's move on. Uh, a couple other things, we got some UI changes that we've been waiting for. Uh, these are fantastic. Being able to just go into interface and set it completely custom, get it the size that you want, is fantastic. A huge move in the right direction. I love it. Uh, the Furious got an updated PBR treatment. It looks nice now. It's still a Furious though, which is unfortunate. Um, but still, nicer looking weapon is a nice, uh, nicer looking weapon is a nicer looking weapon. So, not much to be said there. Um, otherwise, the new strange became replayable. So that's cool. That quest is pretty solid. Uh, beyond that, there's an important fix in here that I need to find. It's... There it is. Uh, okay, so fixed Ash being able to instant kill the Juggernaut by doing a finisher. Finishers are unable to be performed on Juggernauts and Juggernaut Behemoths. This is a very important fix in that this removes the last thing Ash was good for. The last thing Ash was good for was farming juggernauts that was the last thing he had so i don't know what ash is supposed to do now he doesn't do anything now there's nothing like his rework gave him no place where he's the optimal thing to do and like 
but besides farming juggernauts, which is a tiny, tiny little itty bitty niche, like infant, like just tiny, just doesn't matter at all. But it was there, and you could say, well, he's the best at killing juggernauts. Now that's not the case, and I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't understand why that would be changed before looking at how Juggernauts attack and, like, making them more fun to fight. Because, like, Juggernauts are really buggy and have a lot of, like, instant kills that are super not fun. I don't understand why this was fixed before maybe some of that stuff was looked at. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's real, real not great that that happens to Ash. That's really, really unfortunate. Um... Besides that, that's kind of what we got. I really, like, these augments don't make any sense to me. Like, like for, first of all, the lantern one is just bad. It's unfortunate, but Titania's lantern ability is just bad. The Avara one it blows my mind, because I thought that nothing could possibly go wrong with the navigator augment, because that entire list is all at least fun. But this isn't fun, it's just a damage increase that is way too difficult to pull off and not worth it. And... I don't get it. Meanwhile, Inaros gets an amazing augment, one that I feel like is going to be a staple in every Inaros build, and Nezha gets one that's just for fun, but works. Like, it works as advertised, and it's good. So I, I just don't get it. Just, I just do not get it. On the plus side, on the plus side, this armor's dope. So, there's that. Man, it's really good looking armor. Uh, so yeah. That's update 20.2. Huh.